Okay, next we'll talk about composite trans transformations. And a composite transformation is simply two transformations done in a row, two or more, more than one transformation together. And what we see here is a stick figure down here, and let's call this first one S, and it is reflected across line L1 here to form this figure, we'll call that S prime. And you can see that any, any point on figure S is reflected right across to form a corresponding point on S prime. Now what you're told to do is as best you can to take figure S prime and reflect it across line L2 to form a new figure over here. We'll call that S prime prime, a second reflection. Now we're going to just do this freehand and I would recommend that you do that too. You could take a compass and straight edge and take a point, say this one right here, and do a construction to find the corresponding point over here. And then do that again with all these other points in the figure and get enough points drawn where you can make a nice corresponding image. But your diagram would get incredibly messy very quickly with all those arcs and intersections being found. So let's just freehand this fairly quickly, but try to be accurate at the same time. So take this segment and think about the distance that that segment is from the line and go that same distance over here and draw the corresponding segment. So something like that. And then the top part of his arms will be something like that. And then the hand that's up in the air will be over here. And then his head will be here and bring his body down and his legs, something like that. So that's not bad. So what we've done here is two transformations in a row, and that's a composite transformation. Now in particular in this case, let's take note of something. L1 and L2, what we did was reflect across L1 and then across L2, two lines, both transformations here are reflections, and those lines are parallel. And look at what we end up with this second figure over here, S prime prime, should look exactly like the original figure S. If done perfectly accurately, this would be an exact reproduction of this figure over here, simply moved over. So this ends up being a translation. This composite of two reflections is equivalent to a translation. And that's not just something that happened to be the case this time. That will always be the case if we reflect across one line and then another if those two lines are parallel. Two reflections across parallel lines give us something that is equivalent to a translation. So let's write that. Write that in your notes. There's a place in, in your notes where it says this leads us to an interesting fact. And let's write the composite of two reflections. The composite of two reflections through parallel lines. Through parallel lines is a translation. The composite of two reflections through parallel lines is a translation. And let's look at this next diagram. This shows us how to think about the distances involved in such a composite transformation. So in this case, we're just going to reflect a single point. And here's L1 and L2. And here's our point. Okay, let's just call it point P. And if I reflect uh, point P through L1, point P primed is going to end up over here. And think about the distances. The distance from P to the line has to be exactly the same as the distance from the line to P prime. And we're given that. That's two centimeters. So let's write a little two here. This also has to be two. And then look what else we're given. The distance between the two lines is nine centimeters. So from that, we can find the distance from, from P primed to L2. If this is 9, 
then these two pieces here have to add up to 9. So if that's 2, this has to be 7. So let's write 7 right there. And that tells us something. When we now take point P primed and reflect it across L2, it has to end up 7 centimeters on the other side of L2. So let's draw P primed over here, or P prime prime, the second reflection. And this distance has to be 7 also. And then notice what it says next in the notes there. It says the total distance from point P to the second reflection, point P prime prime, can be calculated. Okay, so this total distance starting at P going all the way over here can be calculated. And that's obviously going to be 2 plus 2 plus 7 plus 7. So that's easy. 2 plus 2 plus 7 plus 7. That's 4 plus 14, right? That comes out to 18, and these distances are in centimeters, 18 centimeters. So what does that mean? Well, remember that we said the composite of two reflections across parallel lines, and that's what we have here. We've re reflected point P across two lines, one after the other, and those lines are parallel. The composite of two reflections across parallel lines is a translation. So this distance here, 18 centimeters, is the magnitude of the translation or just the distance, how far it ended up being translated.